The equipment being used for this demo includes a 13 kilowatt 220 volt generator, three inch hose, 110 volt three motor HEPA vac, and a six tool 840 pound rotary. The area that's being polished is a concrete slab that is cured, has previously been ground and subsequently flooded, so it's a ground surface that has gotten dirty over time. The floor is in decent shape, so this step, the 30 grit 10 segment, is being run over the floor to simply clean up whatever surface dirt is on top of it, as well as to maybe do a little bit of extra flattening, but for the most part it's just to clean this up and start the process. After the 30 grit is finished, the bulk dust is vacuumed away. This is to prevent the spent diamonds and the waste from the grinding process contaminating the next step. Tools being installed now are 70 grit 10 segment diamonds. These are going to be used to make a new scratch which replaces the more aggressive 30 grit scratch. This is how the process proceeds from the first aggressive grind to the next less aggressive grind, which is a 70 grit 10 seg. The dust from this process is removed and a 100 grit copper is then run over the surface. This is a resin bond type tool, which means it's a, a hybrid or a bridge step that basically has to remove the metal bond scratches as well as provide a resin bond scratch that the following resin pads can fully remove to be able to refine the surface. What follows are the rest of the resin steps. What's been omitted from the process is the densifier. The result is a floor that doesn't exhibit the shine that it should because it's not dense enough. The densifier does a really good job to make a floor more mechanically complete by holding the sand particles on the surface together. Because of the lack of densifier, the floor is not going to polish as well as it could have. Following this is a process of applying a stain protector. This material is a single component product that is spray applied, microfibered, and then burnished. The expectation is that it will provide protection against staining as well as some slip resistance. Upon final inspection, though the floor does have shine and some clarity in the reflection, because there was no densifier used, it's put the topical sealer at a disadvantage to do the work of a product that was really necessary to hold the floor together. And that's about it. Without the densifier, there's really no point in planning a, a polished floor because the results are not going to be what they could be had that essential chemical been used.